happened to chicken, though? What the heck is wrong with these kids? Did it get home? We have about 30 chickens left. Jordan, come listen to this. Give them CPR. Why do you think they take those speaker toys? I just saw <laughs> Don't mind our family. Her Just where we are. <laughs> meat bird update. We've lost two meat birds now in the last week. One of them was just dead in the chicken coop. And then another one was, I don't know if it got stuck in the netting. But we came out here and it looked like something had gotten to it. Kind of tore it apart. But this is what they do, they stick their heads out and they get stuck. Stupid little meat birds. We have about another week, Saturday. Saturday we're chopping their heads off. We'll probably make this all one video. So when you guys see the final video, when we're chopping all their heads off, you know that this was filmed a week ago. Today's Saturday, so it's one full Saturday. So these guys want some food. Look at them. They're starving. All right, folks, today's the day. We're gonna get those meat birds, we're gonna get them out of the cage. We're gonna take them back here and uh, we're gonna process them. So let me show you guys the implements. I'll show you the chicken plucker. I'll show you the heat. I think we gotta get the water up to 140-ish degrees. Uh, we're gonna show you guys the process from start to finish on how to harvest these meat birds. Uh, this is our first time doing it. We're probably gonna make a lot of mistakes. So if you guys have done it before and you watch this process and you're like, hey, dummy, you guys should have done it this way, let me know. Because uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So we're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do it live. I'm sending it. Check it out. Okay, so here's our homemade kill cones. Had some wire laying around, just like me, reusing stuff. So we got two cones set up now. We'll see if that's enough. If not, we'll make more. But the process is: chicken goes in the kill cone, off with the head, let it drain out to the water. Our water is set up at. Right now it's at 150 degrees. So it's gotta come down just a little bit. We turn the heat down and then leave them in there for about 30 seconds. And then over to the yard bird chicken plucker. And goes Bruh! spins them off. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be fun. So stick around, check it out. What do you think? I think I don't wanna sit here while they're getting their heads cut off. You don't have a choice. It's part of being a farmer. All right, this is like the dead man walking part. Which one's on the chopping block first? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I really like that one though. I don't know. If, look at it. It's like gray. Oh man. Well, you're the lucky one. Mm-hmm. Hello, buddy. So, this is, uh, this is probably the hard part, because you know you've been raising these things for eight weeks. Feeding them, checking up on them, making sure they stay alive. But, this is food for us. So, thank the good Lord that we're able to have that he's provided us birds like this and food like this this is just the uh this is just the hard part i know so chicken goes in calm him down a little bit he'll settle down he'll settle yeah and then goes in the cone Get his head straight down. Then you have to come in here, pull their head out through the cone. And there he is, so his head's in the cone. Now this part, we're gonna probably make another video because if I show you guys how to do it on this video, YouTube is gonna probably get rid of it or demonetize it. So we'll just, uh, we'll cut this part out. We'll skip to 
the actual process in them, putting them in bags and cooling them down and stuff. But this part, we'll put it in a separate video. I think that's the best way to do it. All right. So for this part, I'm choosing my bubble blade that I picked up from the BX, pretty cheap. It's actually kind of expensive, but I got it cheap because it was on sale. And it's pretty dang sharp and pretty easy to sharpen. So I don't know. They say you can either lop off the head or you could slice the throat. So you take the head. Okay, so what's your guys' first thoughts about this chicken? He's fat. What? He's fat, okay. What are you guys' thoughts about him losing his head? Um, well, he already has a deformed head, so it's, it's gonna be okay. Really? He's the only one that has a name. And it's Bob. It's Bob. It's kind of offensive to you, but... Everybody say bye to Bob. Bye, Bob. Bye, Bob. You're my favorite chicken. You're my favorite one. Poor Bob. Poor Bob. That's Sam. Yes, yeah, she will. I'm gonna hold the head, and she's gonna cut. Boy, you call me weak. Actually, she probably hold the head too. Oh yeah, I'm smart. So, go in. You're gonna have to. Okay. So grab its head. Grab his head. Yep. Oh, like and then put your knife. You're gonna have to go from the throat side first. No, throat side. And then back towards the wall. So take it over to the water. You wanna cut one off? Dude, I know what to do. Okay, man. Ooh, blood on me. How long you gotta count? I don't know. Five so seconds. you gotta get all the way all the way past the the fur. It so dripped blood on that's me. Fine. Count to fifteen. You're worried about his blood? Two, you just chopped his head off? Four, five, <laughs> six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A little bit longer. That's not that hot, Jordan. It's only 150 degrees. All right, it's good. Pull it out. Turn the water on. Hold on, don't put it in yet. All right, go ahead. Dump it in. Bye, Sam. Okay, reach in there and grab your chicken. Wait, where's my, how do I grab my chicken? Anywhere. Yeah, by the feet, by the legs, whatever. Ooh. That one's pretty tiny. You had a skinny chicken. Oh. <laughs> he was not bad enough. See, some of those ones are really small. Start to finish. Zoe right? did that one all herself. So you got a pretty good system down now, huh? Yeah. Cut the legs off and then... Got it figured out. Open them up a little bit. Yep. Come back over here and... Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Cut the pooper out. Hmm, I see. We didn't do that the first one, right? Yeah, we did. I think. Okay. Did you chop out the neck? What are you doing with the necks? Just get rid of them. I don't know. Oh my gosh, still that many left? We had what? 49? Okay, hold on. I'm watching mom skin this guy out for the video. Oh, you're videoing me? Yep. Why do you think I'm standing over your shoulder? I didn't want to tell you on video because then you'd be like nervous. I thought you were just supervising. Me. No, man, I don't supervise. I'm sorry. And that's it. That's it. Look at that. Make sure that it's all cleaned off. This is what it has to come to. Need a little sharper knife. Like the sharpener's sharp over there. Okay, okay good job. All right, so these little bags, pretty nifty. Got your chicken in the bag. Got a straw, one of the girl straws. Stick it in the butt cavity. Take this, roll it, zip tie it. Zip tie it. 
loosely around. Stick it in the water. We got the water up to uh, about 190 degrees. Five to seven seconds. It's three, four, five, six, seven. Pull it out. Pull out your straw. Get your zip tie. And voila, throw it in the freezer. Throw it on the barbecue grill later on. That's it. Thanks for watching. All right, folks, that's it. We're done. Uh, we're starting at 9 o'clock. It's just about noon now, so about three hours. We went through uh, 49 meat birds. The process went pretty quick. They're all in the cooler now, just kind of cooling off. Uh, the girls, they got their hands dirty. First time butchering chicken, so uh, I'm real proud of those guys. The uh, last thing we got to do is bag them and freeze them. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, you learned something, saw something cool. Like and subscribe. Peace.